Hey everybody, Adam Bersan here. Uh, for you, for those of you who do not know me, uh, I've actually been in the final expense business since before it was even cool to be in the final expense business. Uh, I'm going on now about 16 years. Uh, I not only uh, am an agent who goes out and personally produces, but I also work with agents, develop agents to see to it that they can have a successful career in this business. Uh, I know some people treat final expense as a product, as an option of something that they can sell, but I believe that if you do it the right way, if you're consistently working leads, uh, there's really no need to be doing any other type of insurance besides final expense. So uh, one topic I wanted to go over with you real quick today, uh, agents ask me all the time, what's the best type of final expense lead? Uh, because there are so many different options out there. There's uh, now, nowadays there's Facebook leads, uh, there's telemarketing leads, there's uh, TV leads, and I worked all of them. Uh, but at the end of the day, I always go back to direct mail. And I'm gonna go over today uh, and explain to you the reason why I think direct mail leads are, are really the best leads out there. And the reasons why I feel they'll, they'll always be the best leads out there. Uh, so, so why do direct mail leads remain the best leads for final expense? First and foremost, uh, direct mail leads can be ordered by zip code. Now what that means is that you can place a lead order more than likely in just one zip code and get a good 20 to 30 leads back. Uh, and when you're ordering by zip code, that means that those 20 to 30 leads are gonna be two to three minutes apart at most from each other. So what that means is that you can just get so much more done throughout the day without having to worry about driving all over the globe trying to catch up with people. Uh, I've worked other leads, like I mentioned, like Facebook leads, all, all those other types of leads, Facebook, uh, telemarketing, TV leads. Uh, I mean, you have people requesting information from all over the place, and it's very difficult to narrow it down to just one zip code. Uh, I've seen where Facebook leads, maybe you can try to order within a certain mile radius, but they are still fairly spread out. Uh, I've worked Facebook leads where maybe I order 25 to 30 leads, and if I'm running those leads, uh, not setting up appointments, if I'm just running those leads where I'm gonna put a route together and I'm gonna go straight to the door on those leads, it takes a very long time to catch up with all 25 of those leads, and that's because they're spread out all over the place. Uh, direct mail, I, I could go through 20 leads in maybe four or five hours, uh, knocking on doors. So that, that's one huge advantage to working direct mail leads, is that you can order by zip code. And direct mail leads, the fact that when the person receives that card, they're filling that card out and they're mailing it back and it's in their handwriting. Uh, it's not just something that was typed in, requesting information, but uh, just the fact that they filled that lead card out, I can take that lead card straight back to them and show it to them and show them that this is their handwriting, they, they must have filled it out. Uh, it, it just makes a little bit more sense. So I like the fact that I can take that card, I can show it to them, it's in their handwriting. It's kind of hard for them to deny that this was something that they had requested. Uh, direct mail leads also do not get old. Uh, for one thing, people that meet the criteria for final expense are receiving mailers like this all the time. And most people that throw the lead cards out, I can almost guarantee you when they throw that lead card out that was for your lead order, more than likely it wasn't the first time they throw a lead card out. So I, I'll work my leads and if I don't get around to catching up with people before my newer leads come in, then I'll just kind of throw those back in a, a section to go back and, and reach maybe at another time, uh, maybe a few months later down the road. And I'll treat the old leads like brand new leads. And in my opinion, half the time the person doesn't remember if it's something that they filled out last week or six months ago, uh, maybe even a couple years ago. Another thing too with that is that People's, uh, maybe something that was not important to somebody now, uh, maybe six months to a year from now, maybe something like this will be more important to them. 
uh, things change, people's health changes. Uh, and, and maybe something happens after you went that first time where now they realize that maybe their health isn't as good as it was and, and they know they need to do something before it's too late. So, uh, so never give up on your, your leads, but the direct mail leads, uh, being again, that it's in the hand, their handwriting, uh, you take that lead card back and it's kind of hard for them to deny that they requested the information, uh, which also makes it difficult for that lead to get old. And you're never going to run out of people to mail to. Uh, you're never going to run out of people to see. Uh, that's the great thing about direct mail. One thing with like telemarketing leads, I've even seen it with Facebook where you can place a lead over in one area and people just stop responding where you have to move on to other areas. Telemarketing, they, they run out of data. They can only call people maybe every 90 days. And once they run out of people, you have to move on to another area. So, and again, when, with those leads you're ordering by county too, so you're kind of spread out all over the place to begin with. Uh, with the direct mail, uh, this is something that I found uh, one of the companies that I use to order direct mail leads. I look to see how many leads are available, how many mailers are available in just one county in Illinois. And this is Cook County, which is a, a very large county. Uh, I, again, I, I live right outside of Chicago, maybe about a half hour, 45 minutes. So right here cook county there's over 413,000 people that can be mailed to uh i mean what one percent of that is about 4,000 leads 4,100 leads uh i mean it's gonna you're gonna have to place about over 400 lead orders uh to to be able to generate all of the leads in cook county uh so again i mean it, it just you're never gonna run out of people to see uh, just one county alone. I mean, it could keep you pretty busy for a very long time. So that's about all I have for today. Uh, just a few of the reasons why I believe that direct mail leads are the best leads, and I think they're always going to be. Uh, the only downside to direct mail, I, I would say, is that there's about a good maybe two to three week turnaround time. Maybe some companies are even longer. Uh, the vendors that I use, the, my favorite lead vendor, uh, I would say two to three weeks, uh, I'm going to get those leads back. So it's not too bad, but sometimes people are looking for leads where they need leads very quickly and they don't have time to wait around uh, for direct mail leads to make money. I would say in a situation like that, maybe try some telemarketing leads or some Facebook leads just to get you started. Uh, earn some commissions, use those commissions then to start purchasing a weekly direct mail lead order. And that's really how you can make a good career out of this by just having that steady flow of leads coming in every week and never forgetting to place a lead order every week for at least 20 to 30 leads. So I hope this information was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, Feel free to reach out to me if you're in the business and you're struggling and you're not getting much support and you need somebody to talk to that maybe can help you uh, get back on the right track. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help. And, uh, and hopefully we can help you uh, create a very long lasting career in this business. Uh, it's a great business. After 16 years, if it was not a good business, I probably would have found something else to do by now. So. Thanks again for listening and uh, good luck.